Hi, this is Meredith Elliott Powell, and welcome to my home here in Asheville, North Carolina, United States. This is actually my home studio. I mean, who ever would have thought that a crisis could so drastically disrupt the marketplace? It's got businesses shutting down, social distancing has become the norm, and it's got us all wondering when, if ever, things are gonna to return to normal. And what is normal even gonna look like now? Do you remember back to the beginning of the year? I'm talking about the New Year's celebration. We were all so excited, so pumped up. We weren't only bringing in a new year, but we were bringing in a new decade. Business was booming, consumers were buying, and we were all set for our best year on record. And it seems like in a matter of seconds, everything changed. And it's got us all wondering if success is even possible now. But success is possible right now. In fact, there is so much opportunity in this marketplace. If you know where to look, how to focus your resources, and how to position yourself, your business, and your team, to emerge successful from this crisis. And that's what we're gonna cover here in the next 15 minutes. We're gonna dive into the strategies, dive into the steps, cover everything that you need to know so you can position your team, position your business to emerge successful from this crisis. A couple of years ago, I became obsessed with the word uncertainty. How we as leaders, as business owners, how we think about it, how we react to it. And let me tell you, universally, we do not like the word uncertainty. But I was going into businesses and organizations and asking them how things were going. And pretty much this is the answer I got. Now you gotta remember, it was 2018, 2019. So see if you would have answered this way. Pretty much the response was, Meredith, business is good. In fact, things couldn't be better. In fact, we may be positioned to have our best year on record, but oh, this uncertainty. As if uncertainty always had to be a negative, always had to be a bad thing. As if uncertainty is that thing we are waiting to drop out of the sky, stop us dead in our tracks, and prevent our businesses from moving forward. And that got me thinking, what if we flipped the script on that? What if we started to think about uncertainty as a positive? Not only something that didn't prevent our business from going, but something that actually propelled our business forward. What if uncertainty was just that catalyst we were looking for to actually move our company, transform our business, and really take us to the next level? And that put me on a mission a mission to try to find businesses and organizations that had done just that. And let me tell you, there aren't many, but I have identified nine companies, nine businesses that are still in business today. Listen, they're not only still in business today, but they are thriving today. And they have been around since the late 1700s, early 1800s. And you know what that means? It means that these businesses have come through economic depression, economic downturn, world wars, and oh yes, they have even come through a pandemic. And I wanted to know why. What were they doing that was so different? And what were they doing that was so unique? And what I discovered was they're not any smarter. They're not any more talented. They don't have some kind of magic recipe. But what they do have is the unique ability to really pay attention to the marketplace, all the shifts and changes in it, and adjust their strategy to be more successful. And I call what I learned from them, it's my formula for thriving in uncertainty. My formula to redesign, rebuild, and relaunch your business so you too can emerge successful. Now we're not gonna dive into the entire formula today, but I am gonna give you something at the end that can even take you to another step. But we're gonna go over what I think are the three most 
powerful strategies, the three most important that you need to emerge successful. One of the most important ways that we can really learn how to succeed in today's environment is to study history and study those organizations and leaders that have come before us because they have created a path for us. It's a path to thrive in an uncertain marketplace and it's a path to emerge successful. Now, before we jump into those strategies, I wanna share a story and it's actually my story because I'm guessing that my story is probably a little like your story. Um, I was set to have my best year on record. My first quarter was really strong. I was headed into the 1st of March coming off two of the best months I had ever had. And then in one week, the week of March 9th, everything changed. I make my living as a keynote speaker. And what that means is I get on planes, I travel around the world, I get on stages, and I engage with thousands of people. So not only in a matter of one week did my entire calendar go away, but in a matter of one week, all my revenue went with it and my business model became irrelevant. It became unusable. Little did I know that for the next six months, possibly a year, there'd really be no getting on planes and there'd be no standing on stages and certainly no engaging with thousands of people. So like many of you, I struggled at first. I panicked. I didn't know what I was going to do. And I thought, well, maybe I need to go get a job. Maybe I need to deliver pizzas or figure out how to sell door to door. And then I got out of the fear phase and I moved into the angry phase. Why did this happen to me? This wasn't fair. This wasn't right. And then luckily I moved into the action phase. And I had been writing this book, a book that I've got coming out this fall, Thrive, Turning Uncertainty to Competitive Advantage, How to Emerge Successful from a Crisis. And with nowhere left to turn, I decided to drink my own Kool-Aid and put these strategies into place in my own business. And I am happy to report that just a few months later, I am on track to not only have a great year, but 2020 may be a better year for me than 2019. And I share that to let you know these strategies work. They're powerful. You put them into place and you are going to emerge successful. All right, without further ado, let's jump in. Strategy number one, you have got to have a positive point. One thing that this uncertain marketplace tells us is that our world, our lives, our business, it can change in a moment's notice. And most of it is outside of our control. So if you don't have a positive point to focus on, if you don't know what things are going to look like after this crisis is over, then you're going to get so caught up in the obstacles, so caught up in the challenges you'll never be able to push through the crisis. There was a great story a couple of years ago about a few Boy Scouts that wanted to go on a whitewater rafting trip. Now they had been planning this trip for a year, but as luck would have it, just a few short weeks before their trip, there was so much rainfall in their area that the scout leader and the guide said, we probably shouldn't take this trip. But boys being boys, they pushed and they prodded until finally the guide gave in. And he said, I'll let you go on this trip on one condition. And that one condition is this regular safety talk, which is 30 minutes long. I'm going to stretch it to three hours and you've got to pay very close attention. And during that three hours, the guide talked about all the obstacles they would experience on the river, the boulders, the high water, the down trees, the rocks. But he spent twice as much time focused on what he called the positive point. He said, boys, I'm going to take you down this river and I'm going to show you every obstacle that's in our way. But I am immediately going to point you off that obstacle and point you to where the raft has got to end up. And the reason I'm going to do that is because if you are not aware of the rock, you'll hit it. But if you focus too much on that down tree, the raft will go right into it. But if we focus on the positive point, that is where we will wind up. 
Well, it's the same in our lives and our businesses. In a crisis, you have to focus on the positive point. You've got to be aware of the obstacles in your way, but you've got to know what you are going to look like at the end of this pandemic. You've got to have a clear vision of what your business is going to look like, and you've got to share that vision like crazy. Because not only you need to understand your positive point, but just like those Boy Scouts did, your team has got to understand the positive point. And once you understand that positive point, then you've got to be ready and aware of the obstacles in the way. And that's strategy number two. You've got to condition yourself for change. Listen, this is change like we have never talked about change before. Here's the thing about change. It can be your greatest opportunity if you see it coming. If you wait for change to show up, it will bury you. So change is like a muscle. You've got to work it. You've got to pump it. There's a tool that I want you to use, and that tool is called a skeptic. Get ready to write this down. Society, competition, economics, politics, technology, industry, customers. Write those words down, and I want you to spend 30 minutes a month brainstorming about the things that you see happening in those areas because two incredible things are going to happen. If you spend time talking about those things, you're going to see the changes coming in the marketplace. And if you see the changes coming in the marketplace, you'll be one step ahead of those changes. You'll have the time to anticipate change. The other is your team will be conditioned for change, the more easily and readily they'll move through change. Listen, change is the one constant we have. We know it's coming. So why wait for it? Get ready now. All right, we have two of the three. We need a positive point. We need to condition ourselves for change. And the last is I want you to book some revenue right now. When it comes to uncertainty, we can be so busy just trying to grab business anywhere that we focus more on new business then we focus on our existing customers. I call this securing your base. I want you to focus on your existing customers for a couple of reasons. Number one is if you focus on your existing customers, they'll be loyal to you. They'll buy from you. They will get you through this crisis. The other is if you focus on your existing customers, they're going to give you an incredible gift. They're going to tell you exactly how to redefine, reposition, and remarket your products. So they're not only more relevant for them, but they're more relevant for any new prospects that you've got. I tell my clients to go out and write down their customers that they've had for the last two to three years, even if they're not doing business with you right now. And I just want you to reach out and I just want you to check in. Customers are going to remember who showed up in this crisis. And when you ask, how are things going? Tell me what's going on. And you listen, you really listen. They're going to tell you their challenges. They're going to tell you their opportunities and they're going to tell you what they need. That's going to be your clue to redesign, rebuild and relaunch your business and your products to be even more relevant in today's marketplace. Listen, in times of crisis, People don't buy from people that they understand. They buy from people who understand them. So listen, focus on those existing customers and they will show you the path forward. So there you've got it. Those are the steps. Those are the strategies. Those are everything that you need to be doing to emerge successful from this crisis. Focus on the positive point. Get a vision of where you want your business to be. Then really condition yourself for change. Anticipate the change coming and be one step ahead and secure your base. Use your existing customers to create that loyalty to get you through this crisis and give you the language and the messaging you need to redesign, rebuild, and relaunch your business. Listen, I know it is a challenging marketplace out there. We can make a list of all the reasons you can succeed and all the reasons you can't. And I have been doing this long enough to know that the reasons we can't always outweigh the reasons we can. But the difference between people who emerge successful and people who don't 
It's not their time, energy, resources, or luck. It's where they focus their time and their energy. If you focus on the strategies I've given you, if you focus on the reasons you can succeed, if you put your time and your energy there, you'll not only thrive in an uncertain marketplace, but you will position you, you'll position your team to do what it takes to redesign, rebuild, relaunch your business, and emerge successful. I'm Meredith Elliott Powell. Thank you for your time today, and I look forward to staying connected.